Welcome to this tutorial. Here we are going to see how you can bypass MI accounts on Redmi. Same thing like Oppo, uh, Xiaomi, and other Android phone. I use this uh, Qualcomm chip. So this particular phone need a test point. So let's disassemble the phone or lose the phone according to some people. So I have to remove the back gently. In case if you don't know how to lose the phone, check for the tutorial on how to lose the phone to avoid it. damaging the phone. So I remove the back, so I'm going to unscrew. There's the back, so I will screw it. The essence of doing this is so that I can locate the test point. When you see the test point, I'm going to short circuit it together to enable the phone connect to UMT dongle now that I'm using here. This is the camera cover. So we still have some knots under the camera cover. These two knots here. If you are good on software, Suppose no hardware a little bit so I can do this I'm doing here. Now this is the test point here. Yeah. I'm going to use this speaker or oh, tweezer and shall secure these two test points. So this test point of uh, Redmi Note 10, these two points here. So open the software, you download the software from the support. From UMT support, I also open device manager. 
to see the USB behavior. So this is a software. It's called the Kiosk Fire. The version is 8.2. So select Xiaomi. Then look for Redmi Note 10. So these are the functions of Kiosk Fire. UMT Kiosk Fire. So we'll go to Xiaomi Special. And says select a uh, redmi account new good the phone is now connected and they can You select a new method and wait for the phone to connect. Now this is the the reading from the phone. It's opening port OK. Well, this is the way you can short circuit. Then yes, say connect your phone through test point. Then check the ports. So the port is connected here. So what I'm going to do, let me update the driver. So this is how to update Xiaomi, Redmi or Oppo Qualcomm driver. Using a UMT Qsifier software, so locate a Qsifier, then search for drivers, or click on the driver so that it will use a store. Then click OK. Then click Next. Then click install. Then close. So it has installed. That's how you can update the driver. I can update Qualcomm driver on your PC using UMT Kiosk Fire. Easy now. Easy they do that. Is entering what I'm looking for. So let's connect, reconnect it again and see whether this time around will go through. Good, that's connected and is a, is a good thing loader. So we wait for Kiosifier or reset the MI account of Redmi Note 10. When you are done with this, you do what they call anti-relock. In case anti-relock doesn't work, then you're going to use a Danny software to do others. <coughs> Is reading that uh, the time this is going to take depends on the speed of your system and the RAM, the processor speed, and the hard disk size. Ensure you use a system that has battery or a backup power supply in case if light goes off depending on your location
always to ref remember to refresh your system the case is hanging just in case At this test time, so we have to wait. Some people keep on complaining that uh, flashing iPhone at test time. So depending on what you say, like depending on speed of your system, so it takes time. You got to wait. I'm using eight gig by five hundred here. Yeah. They were done here. Yeah, let's test the phone. Yo, yeah, this is the phone. And it works. Thank you.